President-elect Donald Trump touched down in Washington today to meet with President Barack Obama and other congressional leaders for the first time since he won the election. Reporter Sabella Scalisa is live in front of the White House to tell us what's going on in our nation's capital. Yes, I'm in front of the White House where the president-elect's meeting with the president comes as protesters and supporters have been gathering in the wake of the election. The meeting comes with a long history, beginning with Trump's campaign questioning Obama's birth certificate and continuing with their bitter presidential election. But this was the first time the two men have met face to face. President Obama said the two talked about organization of the White House, foreign policy, and domestic policy. He said his new priority is to facilitate a transition to ensure that Trump is successful. Uh, I believe that it is important for all of us, regardless of party uh, and regardless of political preferences, uh, to now come together, work together, to deal with uh, the many challenges that we face. Trump said originally the meeting was supposed to be very brief. Uh, the meeting lasted for almost an hour and a half, and it could have, as far as I'm concerned, it could, could have gone on for a lot longer. We really, um, we discussed a lot of different situations, some wonderful and some difficulties. Um, I very much look forward to dealing with the president in the future, including counsel. Trump continued his Washington meetings, heading from the White House to the Capitol to sit down with Speaker of the House Paul Ryan and with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. While official White House is extending an olive branch, Arizona lawmakers, too, are showing support. Even Senator Jeff Flake, who originally came out against Trump in the campaign, he tweeted out that he is looking forward to working with the 45th president. Live in front of the White House, Sabella Scalise, Cronkite News.